This morning, watch your story ventures into the kitchen, where a local teacher is serving up more than just some tasty dishes. Start somewhere. Sometimes that's in a family kitchen. We had fried chicken, we had roast chicken, we had stews, we had everything you could imagine. Creole, Cajun cooking. For those who didn't grow up cooking, there's Earlene Thomas. Certified executive chef, culinary instructor, all of the above. For years, Erlene has taught future chefs and cooks from the kitchens of SLCC. We learn dining room banquet, which is restaurant setting, like front of the house. Then we go into the kitchen with uh, beverage. We could learn beverages, and then right now we're going into the kitchen with dining, cooking for dining facilities. But before the certifications and the students, there was a farm. We had a garden. We had out raised all our animals. We raised everything that we used everything was fresh we had garden and then we had it in the field as well so god we had everything access to the freshest ingredients has shaped the way Erlene cooks the tomatoes that are freshly grown has a special little taste when you bite it it's sweet as some of it is tart but when you bite it in the store they have put all kind of preservatives in it to try to hold it to keep it fresh the fresh one you just go pick it off and it's a really different taste though fresh make you want to just eat the whole thing <laughs> and something she still teaches the importance of today. I try to encourage the students to try to see how important it is that we go with fresh ingredients instead of always having to go purchase things. Even in the age of major grocery stores. It's a big difference. You feel so satisfied with all your, everything you have right at home. And the flavor comes out better. Flavor comes out better even when you cook it. But despite a visible passion for food, it wasn't always her initial plan. It really wasn't about what I thought I was going to do. I want to be a nurse. Oh my God, can you imagine it? <laughs> Lucky for all those who have had a chance to taste her cooking, fate took her in a different direction. Love to cook, so I just continued with the cooking. And that's what I did. I was good at it, so I did the best I could with it. After years of working in the restaurant industry, Erlene was given the chance to actually teach and pass along everything that she'd learned. I was hesitant about coming to be an instructor because I said, oh God, but my personality is not going to work because I have this <laughs> strong personality. <laughs> She's adapted to teaching, though, and she's getting a chance to grow students instead of tomatoes. Look at this student, you always say, I'm gonna, I want to try to bring out the best in this student. And for me, my students come first, always, because without your students, you don't have nothing. Serving up life lessons. Learn from everybody you meet. I always tell my students, learn whatever you can, because whatever you learn today, nobody can take away from you. Always keep that in mind. Next to all sorts of dishes. In Lafayette, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC. TV3.